The musician is currently prepping for a run of shows in September, kicking off with a performance at the Grand Ole Opry on Saturday night from the beginning, John Oates wanted Maneater to go regga. I had just come back from Jamaica when I got the idea for the chorus, and I wanted to write it as a regga song because that was the place I was in, both musically and mentally, Oates, 75, tells P. Pilly about the creative beginnings of the Hall and Oates song that would ultimately reach the no. One spot on the Billboard 100 charts back in December of 1982. I fooled around with it, and then when Hall and Oates bandmate Daryl Hall and I got together, I played it for him, and he was like, this is a great hook, man. He just felt it wasn't really going to fit into what Hall and Oates were doing at the time, and he was right. But earlier this year, roughly over 40 years later, Oates' reggae wishes came true when he traveled to Jamaica to work with producer native Wayne Jobson and a lineup of legendary reggae musicians to record a reggae version of Maneater. I went to Kingston for three days, and it was crazy, Oates remembers of the recording session. We went to this little tiny studio in the middle of this little funky neighborhood, and we just jammed and we played, and I took it back to Nashville and finished it. And while fans have loved the new version of Maneater since its official release back in May, Oates still isn't sure what Hall thinks of it. Nope, I haven't heard from him, Oates tells People. I'm not even sure if he has or hasn't heard it. Granted, Oates doesn't have much time to dwell on such things, as the New York native recently returned to his home in Nashville after a three-week stint at his other home in Colorado. Colorado is almost like going to a health spa, honestly, says Oates with a chuckle. I'm outside all day long. I'm on my tractor, I'm working on the ranch, or I'm hiking in the mountains or riding my bike. It's really about being healthy and that sort of